Hello everyone. Today, I'm going to show you how you can easily split your order line items or quantities to help make your shipping process easy and accurate. This convenient option allows you to easily split quantities or line items into new orders. An added bonus is that if you split an order or split quantities, the totals for the orders will also be split, so you can have more accurate packing slips or, for example, shipping reports. So let's take a look. Everything takes place right here on the orders page. You may want to split orders for many reasons, like fitting them into multiple boxes to save money and space. Select the order you want to split. Now you have a couple options on where you can select to split an order. You can select the Actions drop-down to the right of the order here, or the More drop-down at the top. Once selected, you have two options on how you split orders. The first option reads Split Order. This will automatically split each individual line item of an order into its own order. Or if you open the line items on the order, you can uncheck the ones you want to split off, and it will split that order into two along those lines. It's a quick way to break apart orders. The second option allows you to do more adjustment and is listed as Split Order Items. When you click this option, the Split Items interface pops up. On the left is our original order, and on the right is the new order we are creating. Simply click the arrow next to the line item you want to add to the new order. If a line item has multiple quantities, you can click Split Quantity, where it will ask you to input the quantity amount. You can then move split quantities to a new order. If you need to create more than one new order, click Add Another Order at the bottom, and then whichever new order is highlighted in blue will be where the items or quantity are sent. You'll notice that once I have one item left in my original order, the arrow disappears. This is because your original order must always contain at least one line item. When you have your order set up correctly, just click the Split Order button to finalize the split. Keep in mind that splitting orders or quantities will cause your shipping rules to run again for these new orders and apply any changes automatically. If for any reason you need to recombine split orders or quantities, you can select the orders and select Combine Orders in the More drop-down. These orders will need to be categorized under the same address since they will now be one order, and that's all there is to it. For more information on this and anything to do with Shipping Easy, check out the Getting Started Guide by clicking Guides at the top of the page. Thanks for watching, everyone.